Hi, I'm Els, an Odoo freelancer from Belgium. And in this video, I will show you how a purchase order can be created automatically when a sale is made. To show you this, I have installed a fresh Odoo 16 database with a few applications, and I will start by creating my product. It should be of type storable. At the purchase step, I need to set a vendor because if I want Odoo to create a sale, a sale order automatically, it needs to know where to buy my product. So just set vendor one. And at the inventory tab, I will check the buy route. It's checked already by default. And I need to create a reordering rule, just minimum quantity and maximum quantity to, and to order quantity set to zero is enough to show you how it works. So now I will create a sale order for customer one. I will sell my product one. I can see there is no stock available. I confirm my order. When I go and check the purchase application, I will see there is a purchase order created for vendor one. And for one um, unit of product one. Now, if I would say uh, my product one is in stock, so I'll go back to my product one and I will update the quantity. I'll set it to 10, for example. I will sell this product again. It's no one. One item. I confirm. I go back to my purchase application and I will see nothing has changed here because there is enough stock available. Now, if you want um, Odoo to generate a sale, a purchase order line anyway, regardless um, of the stock, the available stock, we need another method to do this. And first we go to the configuration of the inventory application because we need to enable a route. So we need multi-step routes. We go to the configuration to the routes and we filter on archived. And here we can see the MTO rule. So we activate it again. Action on archive. Now we will create a second product. It's also bought vendor one. And in the inventory tab, we will enable the replenish on order route together with the buy route. And we don't set any reordering rule. Now we go to the sales application and sell a second product. We confirm. We go to the purchase application and the second product is added to our purchase order. Now, um, I will set the quantity, the, the available quantity of product two to 10, for example. And first I will confirm this order so you can see uh, what happens when a purchase order is confirmed. Then a new one will be created as of then. So I'll go to products two and I will set my quantity to 
10. Apply. Now I go again to the sale application and sell this product again. No, so five, confirm. I go again to the purchase app and nothing has happened here. Uh, customer one, product two, five. Product two. Check again my settings. It's a storable product. It's bought at this vendor. I have the replenish on order and the buy route enabled and I have 10 units on hand okay so I've done some checking you can see there are a lot of sale orders now they're all confirmed I have all uh, purchase orders confirmed and I have a few new products um, incoming and outgoing is zero so every receipt and uh, delivery is handled and these are the quantities on hand now I will uh, start again by selling product two I have four quantities on hand if I would sell less nothing would happen in the purchase application so this time I will sell more customer one I will sell product two and I will sell five pieces. If I confirm, I will see a red graph here because I don't have enough quantities in stock. I will go to my purchase application, refresh here, and there is a purchase order created. Not for the one missing unit, but for the five sold units. So, what happens if I will sell product for MTU? less than five so i go again to my quotation um, my sale application product four there was no product three oh, there is a product three uh, product three is a consumable product four i will sell one unit confirm i have enough stock i'll check my purchase order Refresh my page, nothing here. Maybe that's another vendor. Okay, it's another vendor, vendor one. Uh, no, nothing happened for product four. Okay, so a recap, I guess. In the documentation, it says, um, the MTO route creates a draft purchase order each time a sale order is confirmed, regardless of the current stock level. It really means that, I guess, if there is enough stock, nothing happens. And if the units sold go below the available quantity, a purchase order is created and all units are purchased. So this video ended more in a question maybe rather than in a decent demo. If you have anything for me, please add it to the comments so I can learn a thing or two myself. And I will add it to the description below maybe even make a new video if you like this video anyways 
please give me a thumbs up. Thank you.